Hello tubes. Well, this is the first one of the season. This is a free lawnmower. I was driving by. My wife sent me out to uh, go get something at the store. And I was driving by on a major road. And this was just, I had pulled over just to um, look something up on my cell phone so I don't want to be driving and using my cell phone. So I pulled over to the side of the road like one of those little um, turning lanes into a, like a subdivision. And this was sitting at, uh, out in front. Um, so I, I wouldn't have seen it unless I had stopped over because it was kind of dark. Oh, I, so I just stopped and uh, picked it up, put it in the back of my car, and uh, then went on to get go to the store. So I, um, I really haven't done anything with this. It does not run. It will not start. Uh, it does have. Um, does have. There's some gas, something in there. Looks like gas. Smells like gas. Smells fresh. Um, the brake cable was a little difficult to pull. I've since then lubed it up and it, it's fine now. Um, but it, this will not run. So, uh, let me show you. We're gonna see about trying to fix like our first step here. To take a look at the air filter. Eh, this is it's okay. Um, just one more I looked up is about a 2013 model. So let's uh, see if we can uh, let's. Uh, Shoot some carburetor cleaner into the carburetor here. And let's see if this runs. I'm gonna take it outside here and see what's up. Okay, what that did is it's together it ran for a few seconds and then stopped number one it determined it does have spark two we've got a carburetor issue so time to to cover it out and clean it or it could also be water in the fuel as well so now i've got the cover off uh got the air filter box off it was i think it was an eight millimeter socket and uh uh, seven milliliter and this is what it looks like um, this here is your auto choke um, linkage and this over here is your th governor th or throttle um, so even after you get like this you're gonna have to pull off the auto choke to then get to the to then pull this off the other this other linkage off and since this this gas tank has gas in it I'm gonna this just pops off it just slides up here you see those little clips and I have to set it to the side so I don't uh, get any gas out I'll probably drain it just to see if there's any water in the fuel if there is it'll probably be in the bowl too um, so yeah I got some uh, Vice grips here handy in case I um, need to. Um, I took the gas tank off here. Looks like someone else has been in here before me. This clip is supposed to be about here. So maybe someone else has been trying try to get this to run and couldn't. Got the carburetor off here. And let's uh, see what we got inside. Got a old Folgers container I like to. Um, do this over and capture any fluids. Some people also use like an old water jug or milk container that's cut open. You open this up is there are is a couple places 
Right on there, you can get your, you get a small flathead screwdriver into to pry this open, but you gotta first undo these screws that are on the bottom. Before you open up the bottom, just spray this all off with some like carburetor cleaner or take a like a bristle brush, a small one. What you do is you get yourself a small flathead screwdriver, you put it in there, and the same place on the other side to pry it open. This is what the carburetor looks like inside, and this is what came out of it. It's got a lot, a lot of dirt in it. I don't see any water. Not to say that there isn't any. Yeah, I don't see any water. Unless it's all water. But let's go ahead and clean it out. Just spray it off some carburetor cleaner, and then we're gonna take this uh, main jet right here out and clean uh, clean it with some uh, out with some uh, water. Pop out the float. This is your float. You pop it out with a flathead screwdriver. Just pop it out of these two um, these two little grooves, and then just spray it off with some carb cleaner. The needle looks good. There's your needle. Now you're going to um, pry open this uh, that, that white part out, and this is where most of the newer style Briggs are going to get clogged up. And this is your main jet. Uh, I'm going to pry it up with a small screwdriver, and then clean it out. The jet out here. And I'm just gonna spray some carburetor cleaner in there, and then you're gonna clean this. The job. What you're gonna do now is that hole there, and what other other holes you can find. You're gonna stick a like a little wire through. Could be like a, a wire from a twisty tie or of some loaf of bread or something like that. Okay. I, uh, what I have done, I have uh, put that wire in there and just ran it around in there through all these holes that I could find. Then spray carburetor cleaner into the holes. And. And see if I can get it to focus. There, it's a, it's a little. They're a little bit bigger now. Now this particular carburetor, this this plastic piece right here, does pop out. You can pry it out here, but be very careful. Um, oftentimes you'll break it. Um, so, and you can, if you don't want to go through all this, you can just buy this one part uh, at your local lawnmower shop or online. It's about nine to twelve bucks. A lot of money for a piece of plastic. Assembly. Uh, you put the needle back on under there. It just it just hangs there. And then let's stick uh, stick this uh, pin back in the hinge pin. This just the, the needle just I mean I mean the hinge pin just snaps in. And now we're gonna put the bowl back on. The bowl can only go on one way, so you can't screw it up. It just snaps in, and then we stick the two screws that, uh, back in. Word of caution when you put these screws back in. Um, there are these bolts back in. Uh, this is a plastic carburetor, so you're screwing metal into plastic, so uh, be gentle. Yeah, this is why it didn't run. See that? Well, you probably can't see the color. It's all black. Like there's oil mixed in with the gas. So what probably happened is somebody turned this on the wrong side, and oil flew into, uh, flowed into the, into the carburetor, or into the gas tank, or I don't know. But this is all black or dirt. It is no way it would run on this. It's the next day. I had a, uh, some prior conflict that I couldn't continue on working on this. So it's the next day. I let the gas tank uh, uh, dry out over the night to, uh, you know, all the water since I washed it out and it was full of junk. Um, so one of the things I didn't do what earlier was look at the oil level and I don't know if you see you really probably can't see this it's way over full so perhaps somebody tried to do a tune-up on this and put a whole quart of oil in it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty some out and get it back down to the proper level I went ahead and just drained it all out the, with these newer style Briggs. The only way you can get them out, as I don't think there's a drain plug on the bottom, is to take the, this out, uh, the, this the measuring stick out, and then just tip it over into a uh, oil container. For the recycling. oil of the day is what I pretty much used all the time is the Super Tech. It's the cheapest one around and it's not bad. Mowers take about 20 ounces or about half a quart. Now for the moment of the truth, 
I've just changed the oil because I didn't know what kind of oil was in there and yeah, it looked kind of watery, watery, maybe synthetic, I don't know. Anyway, just filled it up with some fresh gas. Uh, gas tank's cleaned, carburetor's cleaned. Um, I'm gonna, I will power wash this and sharpen the blade later. And let's see if this thing runs now. Oil is fresh, just changed it. I knocked out the air filter, get any loose, um, uh, to clean it out. I'm get my third hand. Third hand. And let's see if this runs. This is an auto check system, so there's no priming. Looks like another one's fixed. Uh, this was uh, bad, uh, a lot of uh, junk in the fuel system and change the oil. Uh, oil was a little bit high. Uh, maybe someone had tried to uh, do a tune up on it and messed up or something, I don't know. But uh, I can't uh, idle this outside. It's pouring, raining where I am right now. So I'm go, uh, I'll do a um, final look at this one later when I, it stops raining and I can uh, power wash this thing and sharpen the, and sharpen the blade. Hello tubes. Uh, this will be the final look at this one. This is this Troy built though. It was trash picked with a Briggs uh, 550EX 140cc engine. Uh, it's, I think this is a 2012-2013 model. Uh, here is the model number there and things I did do it was I power washed it, sharpened the blade, cleaned out the carburetor, shook out the air filter, cleaned out the gas tank which is where the problem was, bad gas, sharpened blade. Uh, I didn't get a bag with this one but I had this this other one that I got from it goes to another uh, mower that's a uh, yard machines it's still, it still it fits it. So, this will be the final look at this one. Give you a uh, start here. That concludes. Uh, until next time, too. See you later.